Meg. Got your back. Congratulations. Thanks. Just finished my first shift. How'd it go? It's good to be back. Although, you don't look too good. Yeah, I was, uh, real jerk to Allison yesterday. I should be more patient with her, but I lost it. Shot off my mouth. Oh, that's too bad. I hope it works out. Yeah, I, I need to apologize. I don't suppose you've seen her around. Uh, no, not around here. But you have seen her? Meg. Allison stayed at the farm last night with Aaron. Oh, you're here. I guess you had to work late. I can't find my dress. I had it right here in my locker in a garment bag when I started my shift, and it's it's gone. Well, have you looked in all the other lockers? I looked everywhere. Who would take a dress that didn't belong to them? And I was so looking forward to tonight. So I'll drive you out to the farm. No, no. By the time we get there, I change, I drive back. I... You know, whoever did this, I'm going to wring their neck. You could do that, or you could let me do what I do best. And what are you going to do, Mr. Construction Man? Build me a dress? A man's got to do what a man's got to do. I guarantee you'll turn heads tonight. And there's only one guy that I want to impress. He's a lucky guy. I was hoping you'd say that. Help me with my dress. Yes, I do. I have my Sophie Duran originals on. There they are right there. You look fabulous. Thank you. Have you seen her? Sophie? I am not going in there with you. But it is a simple solution. I'll buy you a dress at Fashions and we'll be right on time for the party. Great idea. Except the part where you buy me the dress. Oh, well, you can pick it out. I'll just pay for it. Look, I only go into Fashions when there's a sale. I can't hear you. Why are you doing because this? Because it's fun. Meg, come on. Have a little fun with me tonight. Can I help you? Yes. Uh, one beautiful dress, please. For the most beautiful woman in Oakdale. planning on making a scene tonight, are you? Do you ever plan to make a scene? It's something that just kind of happens. Okay, what's going to happen when Meg shows up with Mike? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, this night is very important to Sophie. Yeah, well, it's very important to me, too. I stand to make a great big profit. The biggest profit would be if there's a great deal of success that comes Sophie's way so she stops fixating on you. Now, you have to be very careful tonight. Make sure you don't do or say anything around Meg that you'll regret could end up being a win-win night for you. Well, you know me. I do love to win. Oh, oh, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, my mom's real busy with the, with the caterer, and she, uh, she asked me to get the price list. And um, I'm, I'm really it, sorry. It, it's all right. It's all right. Um, Paul, could you? Could you do me a favor? Could you uh, help me with my dress? Sit me up.
one sec. How do I look? You look absolutely beautiful. It's a gift, Meg. How much? It doesn't matter. If it makes you feel any better, you can donate it to charity after the party. But tonight, I get to enjoy showing up in public with the most beautiful woman in Oakdale. Deal? Thank you. For what? Have you seen the... That's the price list, yeah? For the dress. You bought it for me. All right, come on, Sophie. I wasn't even there when you chose it. It's a business expense. It still meant a lot to me, Paul. But this is the most important night of my life, and it's all because of you. No, it's all because of my mother. It was her idea to back your jewelry line. I'm just, I'm just an investor. You believe in me, though, right? Yes, I do. I really do, of course. Should we get going? <laughs> you all right? Yeah, my hero. <laughs> 